welcome. I hope you are off to a great day. Today I'd like to talk about the good news, the gospel. I think when a lot of people think about the gospel, uh, they think about some guy or gal standing on a street corner preaching condemnation. They're preaching, you're a sinner, you you got too short of a skirt on, you you are you gotta stop drinking, you gotta stop sleeping around, you gotta stop cussing, you gotta stop smoking. It's all about condemnation. It's all about warning. And that's all well and good. There's a place for that, but that is not good news, my friend. Let's face it. The gospel is good news. It's not bad news. And what does good news do? Good news makes you happy. Good news excites you. Good news makes you ecstatic. Good news makes you want to tell others about what has happened and what you're enjoying and experiencing. And actually, that's what I'm doing on these videos. My intention is to share good news. <laughs> so, but, um, you know, the good news is this, that Jesus died on the cross and he redeemed us. He, he redeemed us. He, he, he took away our sin and all the offenses that were problematic between us and God, and he reconciled us. He brought us together. Now we and God are together. Not only are we together, we're family. He's our father, our real father. And we have, listen, we have all the rights and benefits of his wonderful kingdom. Hallelujah. So what happened to me years ago, long, you know, back in a long time ago, I heard the good news. And once I became aware of that good news, it changed my life. My mind changed. I became renewed in the spirit of my mind and I rejoiced in the fact that I am now a son of God. I realize for the first time my sonship, that Christ is in me as the hope of glory, and that I have a lot of rights and benefits. But to be honest, I didn't really know how many rights and benefits I had. Have you ever belonged to an organization and, and you never read all the benefits of the membership and you only experience a minute part of it? Well, that's where a lot of people are today. They, they have not experienced the full benefits of being a child of God, of, of being aware of Christ in them. And so, therefore, they go through life not enjoying the benefits. Some of the benefits of the kingdom are awesome. Some of the benefits are like healing, health, prosperity, peace of mind, strength, lack of anxiety, peace like a river. These are benefits of the kingdom of God and in dwelling in the kingdom. And if you don't know that, you're going to live in just the opposite. You're going to be sick. You're going to be in poverty. You're going to be in lack. You're going to be discontent. You're going to be anxious. You're going to live in fear. All those things are signs that you don't know the good news in its fullest extent. And you just need to learn more. So what is the responsibility of a true gospel preacher, his responsibility or hers is to tell people of their rights and benefits. It's to tell people Christ is in you as the hope of glory, that they could have the awareness of that truth, of the awareness of the fact that they've already been reconciled to God. They've already been redeemed. They already have all their sins washed away. And all they have to do is acknowledge acknowledge what Christ did and just receive it, and then you can enjoy the benefit. The problem is this. If you don't acknowledge Christ, then in, in essence, you're lost. In essence, you are truly lost. You're lost because you don't, you have not accepted the awareness. You have rejected it. And many Christians, in a sense, are even lost. They, they, they've got, they understand they're redeemed, they understand they're re reconciled, but they don't enjoy all the other benefits. They don't enjoy healing. They don't enjoy prosperity. They don't enjoy a life without fear, a life without remorse, a life without, unfor with unforgiveness, a life uh, full of anxiety, uh, a life that is restless. 
Those are all signs that you are not aware of all the good things God has provided for us. So my videos have one intent, and that is to share with you the good news, the good news of the kingdom of God and your rights and benefits as citizens, as aware citizens of this kingdom. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I pray you'll come back and uh, see me again next time.